I am excited to show you one of my planes, and it's a plane that I didn't include in my book, Essential Woodworking Hand Tools, because I didn't consider it to be absolutely essential. But I am used to owning one, and I think you might like to own one. You'll enjoy owning one. Um, it's more of a luxury plane, perhaps, for some of us, uh, and less of a, an essential tool, which is what I want to talk to you about. What does this plane do? We refer to the bullnose plane often enough. I use it often enough. What can you use it for? Well, this is a, a rebate plane. It creates a rabbit or a rebate, depending on which continent you live on. And, um, and what we... What we can't do with this one, it doesn't have a fence on it, it doesn't have a guide on it, it has nothing that guides it except your human hand or the rebate that it's going to. So where would you use this if you were hanging a door in a frame and the door was ever so slightly twisted, a couple of millimeters in twist, you could take this bull nose and run it along the rebate and it would trim off that fraction of an inch or a millimeter that you want inside that rebate. If the door's slightly too tight, you can take this on the rebate side, not the door, if you feel like that's appropriate, and take a little bit off that side of the rebate. So that's what it's used for mostly. But I use it on projects like this, where I've just finished making this piece. I find that the drawer is slightly not lining up properly. I can take this bullnose plane, go right inside the rebate where the drawer is sitting, so that's the, the support runner, and I can push this inside here like this, and I can take that shaving off, and it might be just enough to make a correction I need. So that's how we use it. For the part, for that little bullnose part here that doesn't get to the very end there, I would just take a chisel and slice off that back end that's never going to be seen. Another element that you might like to know about, one that I use all the time because I'm quite forgetful. I've made a drawer like this, I've made a door, I've made something um, that I fail to take the corners off here. It's a wonderful tool. I can go right into the corner here, move it across this corner and take the arris off. So there's the neat little shaving off there. The same on this one. Fingers on either side, finger and thumb on either side as a guide, and just run it down here, and that will take off the aris which you forgot to take off, Paul. So this is just corrective. So lots of applications for it. Now, having told you that it's not a rebate plane that creates a rebate, I'm going to show you how you can do that. I've got a, just a piece of pine here. Clamp it in the vise. And then just make sure it's nice and secure. And you can bring in a, a temporary fence. So if I took, if I wanted a quarter inch wide rebate that was going to go down just an eighth of an inch or even maybe half an inch as, as deep as I want it to go, I can clamp this on here. So this is a temporary fence. So instead of the fence being attached to the plane, which is generally what we do, what we have, we can go in with a plane like this, lock those in place, and we just take the plane and we start up at the fore end here, and we work down and back, like this. If you're going against the grain, you can turn it around and pull it towards you, like this, and that will take you down. Once you've established that, you don't have to leave this fence on if it's getting in the way. You take the fence off and you've got the guide here. So now you can work to the guide yourself and work across it like that. So you've got your built-in fence. You can use it on other aspects of rebates like this. You could use it across the grain like this to clean up a cross grain rebate, you can use it on shoulders like this. So many things you can do with this. If you want to extend the bullnose part to make it longer for a longer surface, a longer shoulder, it will allow you to extend about half an inch there, lock it off again, and you've got the extension on the shoulder that you might need for a long shoulder or a wide shoulder. So that's what this plane will do, if you want to, as I do sometimes, 
you can take this, let's take that bull nose back to the, so that opens up the, fr the throat and it, you can close up the throat like this, lock it off again. And you can work this on the face of the tenon to take off a thousandth if you're fitting that tenon. And you can also work the shoulder this way. So taking off those, those uh, shavings off the shoulder, off the face of the tenon. Such a versatile hand plane. I use it for a wide range of things and it's wonderful. So if you feel like you want one in your kit, just go ahead and buy one. One thing that I want to tell you about is when you get your plane, you might find that the blade is wider than the sole itself. Well, that should be the case. It's essential that it is wider than the sole. You think if it's wider, then it's going to cause you an issue, but it causes an issue because your plane won't uh, plane into the corner if it's flush with the side of the plane, because it has to have some relief. If it doesn't have relief, as in my case, this one actually doesn't have relief, not because I've changed anything, Take your little hammer here and tap it on the side and that will make it protrude that little fraction that you need so it's butting up, against, so the plane is butting up against the side but it's actually the blade that's butting up against the side. Push it into the wood and it'll cut tight into the corner. If I need to go the other side, just take that little hammer, tap it again from this side and then work it this way, no problem. It's a great little plane. I think you'll enjoy using one of these.